Okay, let's take a look at setting the, uh, setting the gain for a vocal mic. And on the Personas, uh, the Studio Live 32, uh, this far knob over here is for the gain. And as you can tell, the uh, meter is coming in, showing it. it's a good signal, and we've got it down here on the board, as you can tell. Test, one, two. So what we want to do is as we're, if you will, as somebody is speaking, or let's say the, uh, you know, one of the band members, the vocalist, we want to get their level. Test, one, two. It really depends upon how loud of a singer they are. But even if they're soft or a very loud singer, we need to allow for some headroom to occur in, in the game. Test, one, two, test. Okay, now, this is now peaking at uh, negative 12. Test, the uh, first yellow that you see there is negative 12. Test, one, two, 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 two. Now, if you compare this peaking level here, test, one, two, to what's going on down here, test one, two. You don't see another light taking place with it. The, uh, the lights at the, at the top of the faders, I think are, are very good. They'll tell you what's going on, but they're also, uh, I think maybe some people can be confused thinking that, well, th there's a green light here and I know that I have another green light above it. So green must be good but not necessarily because you're actually approaching the limits of uh, what the, what the uh, board can take for gain. Uh, pardon me, what the board can produce for gain. So this is where you need to allow for some headroom in the gain so that you don't get distortion. Now it's good to pay attention to these and I do use these to tell what's going on, but I know that I need to keep things probably no more than two greens, no more. One green is actually fine, test one, two, but if I can get a second green up there, that's fine as well. So let's take a look at this. Test, one, two. Now we're adding more gain. As you can tell, it's getting louder. Test, one, two, test. Now, if you take a look at it over here, we're probably about, uh, what is that, maybe? We're probably about only three, test, maybe three to six dB below what, what our limit is. Test, one, two. So if you look down here at the channel, one, two. That second light is barely coming on. Test, one, two. That second light should be a warning for you that you're actually approaching, test, one, two, the limits of what can take place over here. other people running these same boards and they've got they've got the channel lights sitting down here that are flashing into the red it's uh i'm not too sure what's going on or why they've got it so hot but it definitely should not be like that especially in live sound test one two right test let's add a little more test one two two okay now as you can tell test up here test we're hitting the red Test, one, two, 
Yeah, I don't know if you can tell it now in the video, but it's peaking red. Test right there. Test one, two. But if you look down here at the channel, test one, two. It's not peaking at the channel. Test. I'm only getting a second green bar. But this does not mean this is where there should be running. So we're going to turn that back down to something more reasonable. Test one, two. Test. 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 Obviously, it depends upon the vocalist and how loud they sing, if they, you know, they're soft or loud. But you need to allow for some headroom. And when mixing vocals on this particular board, we usually keep it right about the first bar. Test, one, two. If we need to have somebody louder, test, one, two. Test, we'll bring them up on the fader. There's plenty more headroom on the fader than there is on the gain. So when you're setting the gain levels for vocalists, you don't need to, you don't need to run them all the way into the red because you're exhausting all the headroom. So try to, try to set their gain within reason. Okay, so what's working here for front of house, let's take a look at a monitor. All right, we're looking at the monitors here, and as you can tell, test one, two, same kind of metering. Over here, this is what's coming in. This is the fadered level coming in from the monitor. The knob up here, this is no longer gain. Actually, it's nothing up here. So the level that we need to set if we are watching levels, is over here, and it's controlled by the fader. So I run the fader down. We don't see it here, but obviously we can tell there's a signal coming in here. Test, one, two. Test, test, one, two. And as we add more, test. Let me turn the uh, master down a bit. Test, one, two, two, two. But it's the same situation. We're running out of headroom, even on the auxes. Test, one, two, test. So once again, I'd probably recommend uh, leaving, the, leaving a fader level with some headroom to spare because you're going to need it. Something's going to happen where something's going to get real loud. You don't want to go into distortion. So we just leave it at, at, I said I recommend leaving it at this level where it's just peaking just into the yellow because that should give you a lot more headroom. Test one, two. And on the monitors, if you do need, if you do need to be louder, Obviously, just t be cautious when you're running the fader up. Test one, two. So I'm just now starting to get feedback. So just be cautious when you're running the fader up uh, because you really need to watch the levels over here because you don't want to get distortion and feedback going on at the same time. All right, we'll switch back to front of house. All right, so hope this helps.